Okay, third video, and I think I'm getting more used to this. Okay, this is a serious, serious topic here. And it's for the Afrocentrists. Afrocentrists, debunk this, debate this, and riddle me this, Batman. Now, you Afrocentrists want to hold on to a twofold myth about slavery, or a twofold belief of slavery. Let's, let's go with that. Now, part of it is definitely a, a myth. Now, you want to hold on to the whole Roots Kunta Kinte storytelling that white people came into Africa with nets and one by one rounded up black people and put them on boats to be slaves. But you also want to hold on to the whole thing that we were kings and queens in Africa and that we were royalty and that they were European knuckle dragon barbarians. Well, we always hold on to, in the present day, that blacks, namely black men, are more physically dominant than others, namely white men. So physically you should be able to beat them. Technologically you should be able to beat them. Because you claim that you were just great mathematicians, scientists, architects, engineers, astronomers, astrologers, whatever you want to call them. Intellectually, if you were that great, you should have been able to defeat who you regarded as mere barbarians. And you couldn't have just been beaten on your own turf like that if you were that great. Because if you were, then that kind of means you were sorry as hell. I mean, it just is what it is. On top of that, let's look at some other options. Well, maybe you were just spear chuckers in which, okay, maybe they did just come in and round you up. Or maybe you were those kings and queens you claimed to be. But that also means that you would have had to have been part of that slave trade yourselves, which you were, and sold your own into slavery. But those weren't our own, those were other tribes. That's very interesting, because you say those are other tribes. When someone brings up European slavery, you say, look at the white man and what he does to his own. You're hypocrites, Afrocentrists. You all are hypocrites. Jesus. Lost my train of thought. European slavery. Crap. I don't even know where I was going to go with it. But seriously, though, when people bring up European Irish slavery, you're like, oh, look at the white man and what he does to his own. You took part in this slavery. Oh, now I remember. Also, those Muslims, those Arabs, they traded y'all before you even traded yourselves and far before the white man started trading you in slave trades. And you claim that Islam is the black man's religion. Which is very ironic. Because if it was such a black man's religion, why did you have to make a black man version of it with the nation of Islam, with Faradian Islam? Hmm? Also, Afrocentrist, what has the nation of Islam done for you since? Hmm? Ain't seen too many nations of Islam mosques or Islamic centers. That just ain't seen them. Even in bigger cities. You have to go looking for them in historic districts and find, you know, Elijah Muhammad lives centers. I think they actually showed a, a glimpse of one in the movie Precious. But, but seriously, what have they done? Now, there is a guy here in Chattanooga. I'm assuming he's a member of the Nation of Islam. He's a black Muslim named Kevin Muhammad. And this guy compared the police rounding up black criminals to destroy their own community, he compared that to the slave trade. Black people, those are your leaders, and Afrocentrists, those are also your representatives. Those are your Nation of Islam spokespeople. People with excuses. People with blame game. Also Afrocentrists. What has Africa done for you? Better yet, what has Africa done for itself? And I'm talking about sub-Saharan black Africa. What has it done for itself? Because much like how you thrive or barely survive, depending on the day of the week, on the white man's breadcrumbs through sla not slavery, through welfare and affirmative action, they do the same thing from foreign aid. 
And much like how when you get something, you destroy it, i.e. destroying your own neighborhood through riots, they do the same thing. That's why in even modern metropolitan African cities, you still see all the craziness you see in the villages, like beating the living hell out of someone because you think they have AIDS or they're supposed to be gay. I saw a video where they beat this guy, then they, and for those who say we're to to dodge the violence, I was thrown off. I was not desensitized at all. I was, I was shocked because they threw a table at this dude and like the impact, oh, whoa, it, it threw me back. And then they ripped one of the legs off, beat him with the leg, put a tire around him, then set him on fire. All the while, this is a, a big city with skyscrapers and everything. All the while, the cop is sitting there just with his arms out, keeping people back, but not actually stopping anything. Basically saying, oh, I'm getting my front row ticket, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to watch this. Those are the morals that Africans give you. Come on, Afrocentrists. And don't come back with what well, you're coming from a materialistic Western mindset. Success is, is Western. And this is what kills me about black people, because you, you claim that you're pro-black, but you give success to the white man. You say making good grades, making money, being financially stable, getting married, having your children in wedlock and not at a wedlock, having a decent church where they aren't sitting there screaming and shucking and jiving and believing everything that Benny Hinn damn says. You believe that that all is for the white man. And you believe that chaos and disorder is for you. That's your excuse. But then you get mad when white people point it out. When they point out the same thing that you say. Then again, you praise everything that's white or close to white. That's like why you like mixed people. That's why you like high yellow people. That's why you let half breeds be your damn rulers. Because the Afrocentrists had it with the he wasn't a half breed, but Malcolm X was three, only three fourths black, and Obama is a half breed. Afrocentrists, Afrocentrists still run after Obama and support him. He doesn't support your nation of Islamic ideas. Seriously, Afrocentrists, tell me. I'm gonna make a, a probably a second video later on, but just but just debate this. The the basic tenets I've brought up with slavery and the nation of Islam and what it's done for you. Start there. Start there and tell me how you can continue to be so mad about slavery that doesn't affect you and never has. And you only blame white people for that, but you don't blame those African blacks who you claim are in the motherland. Those same African blacks who can't get their own acts together. The only ones that do have their acts together are the few that come over here and act all snooty and treat y'all like crap. Those are the cream of the crop Africans. They aren't the norm. Because if they were, then the African countries wouldn't look the way that they do. If they valued education, they wouldn't beat the hell out of each other over stupid stuff. But they do. If they valued education, they wouldn't fall in line with the same pulpit pimps that you do. But they do. Think about that.